Tommy. The youngest angel, Detective Narvin. You alone. <laughs> no self respecting lad just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Set on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the night. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, he handed you a roll, kids. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, some more money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a letter of kids? Wife and daughter. No one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Did he that? I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. <laughs> Look at you. Surely gas. You haven't slept for days. Your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you've got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Grace, I don't know how everything got so bogged up. No one ever sees the hairpin until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Questions. We 
We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Of course. See? 
see around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So, where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Please visit the manager and see what's new. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church, it's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. You're on the wrong side of the road. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say.
spell is 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Since five, what's your excuse? Those figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yes, so. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab ride since the market tanked and all went to shit, I guess. The only reason I got you taking me places is that I'm drunk and don't know better. Can't see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yeah, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. Hmm. This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Nearly there. It's up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. We just do that. Business with the Don? Nah, just try to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this year's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. Boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we can throw. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. 
Confiliary? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar in this ball young place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go we'll smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Celieri. I won't let you down. And Tom, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby, we're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss. Does he stop the car? Ah. I don't get what his problem is with you, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to. I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. I was grateful Make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough. We gotta go. Long drive back north. If the dough wants to do this again, we need us a That'd be good. I'm going to pretend Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's going to sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Manny. It's here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. You're good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just a thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh. If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short hairs. <laughs> Good to meet you, Doc. Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic.
fuck do you follow you? Can, 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 can't you sneak up on a guy like that? Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm doing busting your balls. <laughs> See, you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, it'll make it yours. Palm and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Brad's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have brought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, that guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. It's a tin cab. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yeah, no supplier. You guys dealing broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, we got all these cars you got a torch? You got more friends in the forest than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gym most days, but. Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Of course, you got a lot of the good stuff. But it's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. That's tables, that's food, that's skirt. It's the way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure. Sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Moreau's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Cilliary streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town and you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Brello's doing smoke. Owners out back. There's some lazy bastards. Put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, it's over here. You gotta speak in and wreck the cars. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? See if he gets shot. Okay, go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. No one sees our hands. No one tries to Gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep it. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Thanks, Luke. Careful. Once I get the money on that.
what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell do you know what I do? What? A guy you don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Is that what you're you got guys all over town trying to get my rebel? Just like that. <laughs> Let's get to these cars. Take your butt and start swinging. Oh, it's really going to this time. No one's driving. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. It's not the down time. That's some kind of death wish. Hmm? Jesus! Jesus! Come on, come on, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames! Yeah, he got that nice and good. Old Block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got the good car? I'm not gonna go away. This is a force of burning vehicles and gold powder in North Park. It's right here Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the moon stops. Oh, you bastard! Oh, 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 shit. shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast, and you get clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Everything with this. 
Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was ace the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank in apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. And you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Ciliary's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> I got what did I know? You Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be a routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless they have no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide the value of the service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe the protector. So let Morello stick to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Tommy just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Yeah. 
and he carried a rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. Right. They don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Come on, we haven't got all day. Show me good posture, real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. Last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. All right, last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey. Frank and the boss of the chance of the you. It's Finn. I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Do you, you know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to fuck Fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. the bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. That's too bad. smooth it's a breeze when they put up a fight sometimes you gotta think on your feet sure just follow my lead Trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh, Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? Where's the money? Run, fetch up. It's on the table, brown envelope. Very quick. A shot at Jean Bond. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. If you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom. Huh?
Eugene's place, China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy he used to run this next place, Tommy. His name is not Eugene. Guy's a trainman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Well, he slammed his head into the counter back in 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook. Guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Show Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. You doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop coming? Yeah, I've seen some more work. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub down. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes naturally, you guys. Don't see why it can't come naturally to me. So anyone can do it. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam, right? You been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This bum thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put briefs just like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his jake. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for guy games. The safest place for most of the things we go. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. It ain't big. Boss of the test. Yeah, this place is a real earner. 
Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before lost traffic for them coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Hill's Motel has got to be the place where crates get exchanged. Talieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of the streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some blues hand over or something. It's always deep, deep and shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we get... Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. From here on out, this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sarah. They're trying to get information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. And I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. He's okay. Inside. Let's go get the body! be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. <laughs>